after classification of signals discrete time signals we'll move on to systems what is a system a system is a physical quantity we give some input and it gives some output so a system which gives the desired output for the desired input the input is x of n the output is y of n the system we denote it as t so x of n is called either input and output is called y of n either output or response this t is transform operator so x of n one signal we have given we want to do some calculation with that signal we want to modify we want to add something we want to multiply something or uh, any uh, calculation we want to process then the transform parameter is y of t suppose a sig signal is there we want to delay it so this delay is transform operation so signal is delayed by some units we want to multiply with some constant a multiplier then that is a system which give give the output as multiplier to the input signal and so on so anything for example mobile phone giving audio signal then it is converting analog to digital and transmitting in the form of electromagnetic waves so input to the system is audio signal output is the electromagnetic waves so input x of n equal to audio output y of n equal to in the form of electromagnetic waves a modulator is there we want to perform modulation then input x of n multiply by a cos or sin signal a carrier signal it multiplies gives modulated output this is also a system system which we want to get some desired output for the desired input that is system so we write the system as x of n transform y of n y of n equal to transformation of x of n we have transformed into some other whatever we wish so based on this uh, theory we have a classification of systems we classify the systems into different types like continuous and discrete system static static is memoryless system and dynamic system causal and non causal system linear and non linear system time invariant and time variant system stable and unstable system let us say one by one in short what are these systems first continuous and discrete continuous system which takes input as continuous and gives output as continuous value that is a continuous x of t y of t whereas for discrete signal it takes x of n discrete signal gives the output as y of n so this is a discrete similarly is static static means memoryless no memory if out input is there output will be there there is no input there is no output it do not depend on past values so present value present output that is memoryless static dynamic means which has some memory it depends on past values also x of n minus x of n minus 1 n minus 1 means previous value delayed of last so that a system which has some memory that is a dynamic 